It's C Blow, I'm here with Futures TV, we going viral. All right, we live with it right now, man. Let the streets know who we rocking with on Futures TV. It's C Blue, man. Yeah. That, that's what it is. That's what it is. For the people that's going to watch this joint and see, you know what I'm saying, look at this interview, let the people know exactly, you know what I'm saying, where you from. From Monterey, the Bronx. How was it growing up for you? Um, it wasn't too bad for me. I got what I needed. I got what I wanted. If I wanted more, I was going to take it. Most definitely, most definitely. Do you feel like the Bronx is the most dangerous borough out of all the other boroughs? Nah, it's really how you make it, like, you know, people people make it seem crazier than it really is, but if you're in the streets, then you definitely got to watch your back, but if not, you chill. Yeah. You don't got to do nothing crazy. And what made you really want to, you know what I'm saying, jump off the porch early, though, because you still young. How old are you right now? I'm 16. Yeah, so what, what made you want to jump off the porch early? So with you, you know what I'm saying, being 16, is you currently still in school? Facts, yeah. I've been mean, watching school shit still, facts. Word. got be smart and shit. Can't just be a dumb dick. How do the shit be, though, when you be out there? Like, I know niggas know you. Like, hella people know you and shit, so how? Nah, yeah. I be in school, niggas be, like, walking past me singing my lyrics and shit like that. Yeah. I feel like I'd rather niggas say what's up than walk past singing my lyrics, though. Like, like if you know me, say something for me. Don't just... Yeah. I feel like that's weird. What do, like what's the most fanned out type shit that you didn't <laughs> see in school? Cause that I'll, really like that. Like really, instead of saying so, uh, just singing the lyrics and shit like that. Yeah. So with you being in school and shit, do you be having to kind of you know watch your back more so? Cause people know that you you know what I'm saying like from the ops and shit. Nah, like if a nigga tries something, you feel me? Got my niggas with me, but yeah, niggas niggas know. To try down anything, you know? even if I'm dolo. Yeah. Do you plan on going to college? Yeah, I wouldn't be a biochemist for me besides this rapper shit. Okay, that's what it is. That's that's dope though, cause yeah. a lot of you feel me. A lot of people be just glorifying the negative shit, but you you want some positive yeah, yeah, shit too. Right. Yeah. Definitely gotta be smart. Yeah. What's a uh, big misconception about you and the guys that you know people be saying? Um, for like. Since niggas listen to just the music, they only see the outside of us. They don't know how we really are in person, shit like that. Like, yeah. we joke around. Niggas don't really know the real us. So y'all real cool. Y'all just don't fuck with the other side. Like, yeah, that's, facts. that's it, though. Yeah, facts. Uh, now, what, before the rap shit, what was you went to? Was you playing basketball? Was you doing nah, other? Well, I wasn't never really a sports person, but I played baseball for like a year or two for me. Yeah. But... Million, I was really into science and shit. Word, that's dope, though. That's dope. What what made you want to, you know what I'm saying, stop all that stuff, the science and shit, and um, start rapping? Um, I used to be in school, chilling with my, with my friends and shit at lunch, making beats, making songs and shit. Um, and one day, I was like, fuck it, let me take this shit serious. Let's go crazy with it. Yeah. Who was who was some of your um your biggest inspirations coming up? Who was some of the people that you listened to? You like, yo. Um, that nigga Lil Pump definitely was an impact. Lil Pump? Facts. facts. Okay. Damn. I would think by listening to your music, it'd be like some drill rapper like King Von or some shit. Nah, like, maybe I started I started with um, Lil Pump. Like he was the person who really inspired you to like, you know, take over this shit. Cause I see he was being himself doing what he wanted. Yeah. Most definitely. Now, right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm from NC, and I'm hearing about the Bronx scene all the way in NC, you feel me? So that's, that shit says a lot. You know what I'm saying? How, what's your opinion on, like, the, the Bronx hip-hop scene, and why you think people gravitate towards y'all a lot right now? I think, I think, well, for the people who, like, doing what they're doing, I think they sound different from each other. Um... We just, we lit right now, we viral, that's really all. Like. Yeah. You got you dropped a lot of songs that's doing hella numbers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what was that first song that made people pay attention to you a lot? Um, let's see. My first two songs, I'm going to say, like, my 
my bro K Flock. I mean, that was like my first big feature that went like started going crazy. Um, I had some, sh I got some shit with Be Love too. That that's going that went crazy too. Okay, and I know you you just mentioned K Flock and Be Love, and you know what I'm saying they really carrying the torch right now for for the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Facts, free bro. Facts. Yeah. How did you meet K Flock? You know what I'm saying? Set the trend to be love and all the other guys. Just growing up in the hood and shit, for me, all making music, had the same interests. You know, Yeah. Now, with everything going on right now, I gotta ask you about it because this is big news. Like, all the big blogs posting it, this is like big news. Even 50 Cent posted K Flock. Yeah. That was huge too. How you feel about like the whole situation with K Flock being arrested? Oh, uh, free bro, that's what he did for me. I can't speak of a little bit of situation. Yeah. Have you spoke with him from that situation? Like, ever since then? He got locked up? No, I'm for me, I'm, Yeah, for me, I wrote my, wrote my thoughts for me. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Do you have new music on the way with you and Flock, like unreleased type shit? Most definitely, bro. Now a lot of a lot of people once he got locked up, it was it's, I looked on the internet, it was people that was kinda happy about the shit. Yeah, weird I, shit. For like shit like that where niggas just Yeah, niggas like that won't prevail at all. So sure. even your ops, you don't wish prison on them or nothing? Nah. Wouldn't catch you. Can't catch you if you're in jail. <laughs> okay. Now I, I I was looking at your IG, I seen that little dirt follow you. Yeah, fact, shout out him. That's huge. So how that like how that happen? Yes, for me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know. Have you reached out to you or anything? Like, message you? Like, yo, I, I fuck with your movement type shit? Nah, nothing like that, but I mean, maybe one day it's coming. Yeah. And, you know, I just mentioned Dirt. He from Chicago. Um, yeah. So, like, what what's your thoughts on Chicago rappers saying that if you jack GDK, it applies to everyone, including them? Shit. <laughs> I don't know, like. Fuck it. See, uh, like, where you see yourself at in, you know what I'm saying, the next five years with this shit? Because you, you still young. You 16. You yeah. got time. Like, you got hella time. Uh, I see myself at the top, for sure. Mm -hmm. Living life, doing what I want to do. Okay. Are you signed right now? Yeah. Where, who you signed with? Signed with Inesco. Okay, that's what's up. How, like, how was that situation you getting signed, like, when you first signed up the papers and shit? Oh, uh, it was different. Like, for me, I feel like it's a life-changing experience. Just gotta do the right things. Yeah. What's the difference between you being signed and, you know what I'm saying, when you was independent, just doing your own shit type? I feel like I'm still doing my own shit. I mean, nobody controlling me. Yeah. Because they say with the labels, you feel me, they control when you drop type shit. They nah, it's not like that for me. Not everybody will do the same things. Okay. Now, with all the chaos going on in NYC, you feel me, how do you plan to stay focused? And you know what I'm saying? Stay on top of your game. For me, don't worry about other niggas. Just worry about myself, really. But if it get down to it for me, yeah. you know what that can do. Uh, who's your favorite Brooklyn Drill artist? Um, as of like now or growing up? The growing up type shit. Growing up, let's see, like, before I start rapping, probably like Chef G. Yeah. Him. Sleepy Hollows, people like that, Bobby Sherrida, yeah. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah, they got a lot of rappers to choose from, type yeah. shit. Uh, so for somebody that never heard your music before, you know what I'm saying, and you, they want to get in tune with you, what song would you put them on to? Like, tell them they got to check out. Um, some shits by Blue Bop. Um, yeah, that's hard. No Ozone, Pope. <coughs> no Ozone, one and two. For sure, which I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, everything basically, like, I mean, all my shits. It's viral. What's your uh, creative process be like when you be in the studio? Like, you, do you freestyle or do you write? I do both. Like, if I freestyle, I'll freestyle, like, after I said something that I had written down. But whatever comes to my mind, and I feel like that's some shit I should say, I'm gonna say it. And, you know, a lot of things I be seeing, like, with the Bronx drill scene, y'all be sampling, like, old beats type shit. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you're going to jump on different type beats in the future? Yeah, for sure. For me, it's just, if you really want to make money with your music, you might not want to go for a sample, but 
If yeah. you just wanted to get out there and be viral, then that's what you should do. Do you feel like for you to go to that next level and, you know what I'm saying, boss up more, you feel like you're going to have to stop this and the ops? Um, I feel like you do whatever the people want to hear, but not really. Like, you don't get out your comfort zone, for me, you know? Yeah. Not all the time. You do what you feel like you should do. Right. Yeah, you don't really go off nobody else. Just stay yourself. Most definitely, most definitely. So, you know what I'm saying, what you got coming out next, though, is early 2022, you feel me? What you got coming in stores for the streets? Shit, I got a lot of songs coming. I got Dolo dropping the fourth of this month. Okay. Message part two. Um, got some shits coming. You got an album in works? Um, I wanna say that. I wouldn't wanna wanna say that yet. Okay. I have people thinking something that it's not yet. Okay. But. Is there anybody else that you wanna work with that you haven't worked with yet? forward to working with no cap. Oh yeah, that's hard. Um, really anybody who wanna work with me. You know? Is it any I mean I know you just you mentioned dirt following and shit. Is it any other big like mainstream artist that's, you know, fucking with what y'all got going on, checking you out and shit? I think I think a lot of I feel like every um, mainstream artist has seen a New York drill artist by now. For yeah. sure. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, when when you receive your first big rap paycheck, man, what you going what you spend, what you plan to buy? Oh, shit, cred. You know, move my mom's out the hood, shit like that. Yeah. So you, you know what I'm saying? You known to go live with the ops a lot. You feel me? What's the reason behind that? Nah, I want to show everybody how they broke for me. Like, just like clouding them niggas. I like that shit funny for me. That's what he is. Like, niggas is jokesters. Okay. Now let people know your IG and all that. They try to get in contact with you for a show, a feature. You know, let people know. Um, C Blue underscore one eight zero. Okay, where you get your name C Blue from? Um, just something that stuck with me. Yeah. Get into details. If you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who's your top five chicks you want to smash once you get in the game? <laughs> You ain't got no, you ain't got your own on one person. One. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, yeah. Nah, um, nah, facts, Coyle Ray, I, I'm on, I'm on trail. So you don't care about, like, the fat asses? Cause she mad skinny. Nah, that don't really matter. It's about your personality sometimes, really. Yeah. yeah. Facts, though. Alright, we signing out this shit, man. Alright, see, blue. Alright.